enjoying your day off? Oh, hi, Miss Laura. Oh, I sure am. I had so much fun taking Bronco for his walk today. But hey, Miss Laura, what are you doing? Wow. You have so many Christmas things behind you. I know, I love this time of year. I am just getting ready to make some Christmas cookies. I, okay, I really do love this time of year. Well, for a lot of reasons, but one of the big reasons is because I love all the delicious treats that I get to make. Yes, oh, I love baking cookies too. Oh, oh, I know, we should have a cookie baking party. What kind of cookies are you making? Today, I am making cookies that look like megaphones. Ooh. Yeah. Now, I know that that doesn't sound very Christmassy and all, but I promise it makes sense when you know the story that we will be talking about today. A megaphone is used to deliver a message that you want many people to hear. Although God didn't use an actual megaphone, I like to use the shape of the megaphone to represent the way that God shared the message of the coming Messiah with all of his people. God sent prophets to write about Jesus' birth. And their writings were read by many people through the years. They spread God's message almost like a megaphone. Here, I'll tell you about it. Long before Jesus was born, some of God's prophets told people that Jesus would come. The prophet's words were written in the Old Testament. Two of those men, two of them told about Jesus' birth. They were Micah and Isaiah. Jesus' birth should not have been a mystery to God's people at all. God told the Israelites Jesus was coming long before he actually arrived. Isaiah and Micah wrote about Jesus' birth hundreds of years before he was actually born. Isaiah the prophet lived hundreds of years before Jesus was born on earth. The first message he wrote about was about who Jesus' mother would be and who Jesus would be. Isaiah said, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive, have a son, and name him Emmanuel. Isaiah said that God would choose a woman who was not yet married, and she would be Jesus' mother. He said, too, that one of Jesus' names would be Emmanuel. What does Emmanuel mean? It means God with us. Sometime later, Isaiah talked again about Jesus. He said, a child will be born for us. A son will be given to us and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. These are a lot of names for Jesus and all of these names tell us who Jesus was and the great things that he would do. Jesus was coming to earth to help protect people, to help people. Jesus would be a king who cares about his people, and he would bring peace to the whole world. Isaiah's third message was about Jesus' family and his power. Isaiah said that Jesus would be a part of Jesse's family. Who was Jesse? Anyone remember? Jesse was King David's father. Isaiah said that God's spirit would be with Jesus and that Jesus would be wise and strong and Jesus would do the right thing and he would be a fair ruler. Finally, the prophet Micah told about where Jesus would be born. Micah said that Jesus would be born in a town called, that's right, Bethlehem. Micah also said that Jesus would be ruler over Israel. And hundreds of years later, everything that the prophets Isaiah and Micah said about Jesus came true. The things that Isaiah and Micah talked about actually happened. These prophecies and many others all came true. Everything that God said about Jesus' birth came true. Oh, I love this. All of this means that we can read the Old Testament and the New Testament and see how they fit together. 
Miss Laura, we can see that the Bible is true and that God is faithful because what he said would happen really did. God always keeps his promises. And we know from the Bible that he kept his promise to send a Messiah. And because God is trustworthy, we know that he will keep his promise to send Jesus back again. Jesus came to earth to die for our sins and he rose on the third day. He went back to heaven, but will one day come again to fix everything broken in the world. Hmm. Why was Jesus born? Jesus was born to rescue us from sin. God's plan to save people from sin and death was not a secret plan. God used the prophets to give hope to his people. They said God would send a Messiah born into the world as a baby to live the perfect life people fail to live and die the guilty death we deserve. Now I understand why we were making megaphone Christmas cookies. The prophets told us about Jesus' birth. In fact, they spread God's message almost like a megaphone spreads a message. Everything God said about Jesus' birth came true. Exactly, Miss Chloe. Hey, Miss Chloe, do you think that maybe, just maybe, you could find your ukulele and lead us in a couple Christmas songs? I feel like maybe we should be worshiping God in song right now. Absolutely, Miss Laura. I'll be right back to sing. Come the rock. 